this year with fighting games is insane. Like I'm expecting so many things from fighting games. Like I just, I'm waiting for this fighting game, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Play Tekken 8, amazing game. I don't care about Final Fantasy. I don't care about any of the games that are coming out this year. Dragon Ball, when there's a Dragon Ball game, I want the Dragon Ball game now. Guys, today we're going to be checking out the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Gameplay Showcase. Came out yesterday, or uh, let me check here, 20 hours ago. I haven't checked it out. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, the, the last 3D fighter that I played from the Dragon Ball series was Raging Blast 2. I didn't, you know, go on to the, the bandwagon of Xenoverse 1 and Xenoverse 2. I, I wasn't interested about all that stuff. I played Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Very simplistic gameplay. But now we have this. Let's go and check it out right now. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Goku versus Vegeta, okay. I think we've actually seen this footage, right? No, this is something different. Okay, we've seen this. Let me say the graphics so far. Oh, Frieza, this Frieza right there. Broly, okay. Broly going Super Saiyan right there. Okay, to confirm Jiren. I saw Jiren there for a split second. No release date as yet. Okay, here we go. The showcase gameplay showcase. They just they're just teasing us right here. Okay, they're just talking about everything that we've seen. And so far the graphics of this game are, it's what I wanted with Kakarot. Because Kakarot's environments are so garbage, they're so low poly, but then you look at this and you're like, wow, they actually took the time to make the environments really good. Goku vs Vegeta, here we go, wow, like... <laughs> Oh shit, they do the jumping thing <laughs> with Goku. Dude, this is on point. This is freaking on point, man. Shit, I like that camera. Like it's fast. Ooh, you get, you get like... They bring him back those like charged heavy attacks. So you got light attacks, you got... Whoa, look at that. Like the way Goku's shirt is moving when he's powering up, that's pretty nice. There's so much going on here. And that UI is freaking clean as hell. Oh my god. Like I'm just getting chills here. This is good. <laughs> this is good. Like, it's so focused, but it's dynamic as well, because the camera... The camera is doing all the work here. Camera and effects. I love the powering up. Okay, what... Okay, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, okay. This is just unfair now. Poor Vegeta. <laughs> there we go, Gallic Gun. Ooh, deflect! You could deflect in Raging Blast 2 as well, but I don't think you could deflect um, by actual... 
power moves, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. They just <laughs> they're just going behind each other. Man, I love that aura, that power up aura. They went nuts with this. So I'm guessing that's like burst limit or something, or like when you max out your... Okay, there we go, we're going for, with the freaking Clash. So the Clash is back, and I don't think it's spamming the button anymore. Yeah, this is good. I like that. And it felt more tactical. That's great. It felt like, like uh, Budokai three mixed with like Raging Blast or Raging Blast two. We'll talk about how many characters there is actually going to be in this game. Okay, so we got Trunks, and then we got Dispo right here. Ooh, Dispo is fast as hell, man. Kakunsa? <laughs> Freaking Kakunsa! <laughs> I think this is the first time we actually gonna use Kakunsa. We okay, we got Master Roshi here, max power. <laughs> My boy Master Roshi right here. Okay, Nappa obviously is gonna be in this game. They can do like the finger thing. <laughs> the finger thing right there. <laughs> They got it. They they know what they're doing. Okay, we got top here. Okay, Jace. Yeah. Jace and Berta. Ooh, freaking Kale, man. Broly, Super Saiyan. Bro, I'm going Broly, man. I, I want to check out Broly. Damn, <laughs> damn, man. Oh, we got hit, we got hit, that's nice. Are they gonna do the, okay, there we go, the time thing. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Imagine freaking Jiren, man. I wanna see Jiren gameplay. Is Janemba gonna be in this game? Yeah, like Android 14, is Android 14 going to be in there, is, I think it's Android 10, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to see which Androids are in here, we know Cell's going to be in there, we know Jiren, pretty much everyone from the Tournament of Power is going to be there, Beerus, uh, it's just characters like, is Whis going to be in there, is, um, who else is, Zeno gonna be in there? We don't know. Imagine freaking Zeno, he just snaps his fingers or something, or he just waves his hand and completely obliterates the entire map. I don't know. I just want to see crazy shit like that. Anyway, so this is the official website for the game. Okay, they mention okay, breathtaking 3D fights, uh, you know action and all this stuff and transforming and obviously right obviously but the thing that's left out from this game is split screen now the moment i'm gonna get this game i'm gonna call my friends over right i'm gonna i'm gonna say hey <laughs> come on come on over to my house you know this is play some freaking dragon ball because i have friends that are dragon ball fans as well and we just want to go and, and do split screen you know couch co-op but this game on release is not going to come with split screen. 
Now, I don't want to make any like excuses for the developers, but split screen is something that is important, especially in the Budokai series, especially when it comes to, you know, uh, Raging Blast or whatever. It is an important feature. Now, why exactly is this feature not coming? And I'll tell you right here. It's, it's right here. It has to deal with the consoles, not specifically PS5 or anything, but Xbox, I think, because there are two consoles that are on the Xbox side. You have the Series X and the Series S. The Series S is a very low powered next gen console. Like it, it can't even handle Starfield on the low setting. So imagine the Series S trying to render this game at the lowest setting and also trying to do split screen rendering, you know, two different characters and two different, uh, you know, perspectives at the same time. I don't think it's going to happen on the Series S. Uh, PS5, Series X, sure. PC, no problem there. But games in most cases are made for the lowest common denominator, which in this case is the Series S, and I, I really dislike that this game is not going to come with split screen. It is single player. It's not online only or anything. It's you can play the single player or you can play this multiplayer with, uh, you know, another friend that has the game, which in this case, quite unlikely. But single player, yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever story or whatever modes they have. Um, but let's let's head on over to the characters. I mentioned how many characters are actually going to be here. We have 11 confirmed characters. That's excluding you know, Goku, Vegeta, we, we know how many characters are in here, right? We're expecting somewhere around 50, 50 original characters. That's excluding the transformations or whatever. 50 characters at the minimum, I would expect. And then if you count these blocks over here, I actually counted them. There's 164 tiles over here. Now, this is inaccurate because there are repeat tiles here, like here's Goku and, and here's, I believe that's Goku. So there are repeat tiles here. There's 164 of them. I don't think there's going to be 164 characters. <laughs> I think there's going to be a, a sizable, you know, 80 to 100 uh, characters, including transformations, but I don't expect you know 160 characters in your uh, original characters i don't i don't expect that so 50 probably that's my theory that's just a theory that's what i think 50 characters from dragon ball z dragon ball super probably maybe some characters from gt i don't know maybe some characters from the older z movies we don't know as yet. We just know it's Dragon Ball Z and Super. That's it. That's 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 what we know. As for DLC, because obviously they're they're probably gonna want to do DLC or season passes. Maybe that's gonna be characters from GT or uh, the old Z movies, or maybe like special characters like uh, a rail. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, Arale, I don't know. Arail. Because she was in Super. So, I, I don't know. I hope she's in here. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I think. Okay, guys, we're going to be doing a little breakdown on the uh, little gameplay that they showed us. So, first of all, like I said, the, the graphics, the environments, the, the actual character graphics and the detail to them is really good. It's outstanding, actually. It's the best I've ever seen. And then this, I hope every character has their own little intro, depending on different characters. So, Goku. Goku saying that he won't lose this fight to Vegeta. I hope there's more than one, obviously. Then the fighting, it's really fast. You just have them, you know, just tapping each other, just uh, kind of putting in some blows there. 
quick taps right there. You can zoom behind opponents. You can do the thing that I absolutely love doing with Goku. He does the the two hand type of I, I don't know what you call it, but he just he just pushes <laughs> opponents away with with his uh, hands like he does right here. I love that. Just quick taps again. And then during some attacks, you'll see that the actual screen goes white for a second there. Right there. Like then next the aura. The aura is very fluid. This is something that's great. And depending on their power level, I believe, their aura color changes. So in this case it was white because they're in their normal form. Goku's shirt moves when he's powering up there. I just like that detail right there. Now, there is one more thing that I would like. I know that Dragon Ball is all about, you know, flying to an opponent, you know, fighting, whatever. But I hope that you can also stay on the ground and, you know, move if you want to. And then over here, Goku... Has he has his shirt ripped off when that actually happens. I think it's after he gets destroyed by freaking Vegeta. Yeah. So there is costume damage. That's something cool. And if you look very carefully here, the animation. When Goku gets put down, he actually grabs the ground for a second there. I like that. Okay, cutscenes for different transformations. That's really great. And he changes his stance, I believe. You see him doing something with his arms. He changes his stance. Yeah, right there. Uh, okay, you can deflect freaking power attacks. That's really nice. I'm guessing that's like a bar or something. Like you can only do that a certain amount of times. And I like that it's a delay. He doesn't just completely deflect it. He holds it there for a second. That's really nice. Then Vegeta goes Super Saiyan Blue. You can attack people while uh, they're powering up. That's uh, that's actually a bitch ass move. And then the zipping behind each other. So this kind of shows that you can do it multiple times. And it just really depends on how fast or how efficient you actually do the do the like dodging. Then this is him going full power. Then we have a clash here. And it looks like it's it's dependent on whether you tap it at the right time. Yeah, it's just really good. There's a lot of detail that they added here. There's nothing that I didn't notice that was out of the ordinary. The destruction of the environments are good. The auras are good. The UIs are very clean. It's not like the, the old Budokai uh, UI where it's taking up like half the freaking uh, <laughs> half the freaking screen here is just very clean here here's Goku here's Vegeta the the little icons change depending on what form they are their uh, aura meter right here their health I believe that is yeah I think that's health yeah it's health you can see it chipping away there and you can see the different amount of hits here so if you get them in a combo it just adds up and it shows you how much uh, damage that was. And then the music as well, if you listen to the music. Hopefully I don't get demonetized, but I, I don't think so. Uh, the music is very Budokai-esque, if you know what I mean. It's very like Dragon Ball rock type of fight music. Then this, I do not know what this is. Okay, so he gets hit and then this bar goes up one. I think this is a burst meter. But now it went up. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see what that is, but it definitely has something to do with transformations and super attacks, I think, or the, the burst meter over here. I have no idea. Yeah, really, it just, this is gonna be awesome. I mean, this is going to be freaking amazing. I'm just worried about split screen. I really want to fight my friends, you know, invite them over and just, uh, you know, my friend, maybe he'd be Vegeta, I'd be Goku, or I'd be freaking, I don't know, 
uh, Goten. <laughs> Freaking Goten and whoop his ass with Super Saiyan 1 Goten. I don't know. But yeah, I. This is the game I've been waiting for. Fight! <laughs> 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 